Hello, you're the angel back again with another Amos video. Yes, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at how we can get our Amos programs to talk to us. So how good is that? So we live in a world where we talk to our devices and our devices talk back to us, be it our phones, our tablets, smart... Siri, what is the Amos programming language? Amos Basic is a dialect of the basic programming language for the Amiga computer. Do you want me to keep reading? Yes, please. Following on from the successful Stoss Basic for the Atari Street, Amos Basic was written for the Amiga by Francois Lionet with Konstantin Soteropoulos. Smart speakers, televisions, you know where I'm going with this. So I kind of thought it'd be cool if we could make use of the Amiga's speech functionality. Now, let's be quite clear on this. The Amiga's speech functionality is not that great by modern standards, but the Amos speech interpretation routines actually can give us something which is quite reasonable. At least we can get our programs to talk to us, to give us information, to make things seem a little bit more cool. Um, so based on that, what I'm going to be doing in this video is taking a look at the say command, the set talk command, the talk miss command, and the talk stop command. Not that we're really going to need that much, but those four commands will get us up and running to get some decent speech out of our Amos programs. Now, this video, pretty much in two parts. The first part, I'm gonna be taking you through those commands, showing you what they do, and how we can get some decent speech from the Amiga. The second part of this video, I'm gonna show you a little utility program that I've written, so you can enter different values in and experiment with different types of voices, different pitches, and different frequencies. So you can test stuff out and get an idea of the values you need to actually then embed in your program to get speech to work properly. How cool is that? So, you know how this works. Let's grab a cup of tea and dive on into some code. Okay, here we are in front of a bit of a template program. Uh, we're gonna run through the say command and we're gonna run through uh, how we can fine tune the speech. We're gonna take you through those commands. But first of all, mouthful of tea. Had a mug change, going with the Watho Snorkers mug. So there it is in all its glory. Snorkers mug. Uh, you need to check out what host Snorkers' channel if you enjoy spectrum coding uh, with a twist. Mmm. And there's a good cup of tea in there as well. The mug, that is, not Snorkers' channel. Uh, although I believe he does enjoy a good cup of tea. So um, there we go. A link to his channel will be in the video description down below. Right, I'm going to do something very simple. So what we're going to do, we're, first thing we're going to do is stick in uh, a locate statement and then we're going to input uh, what to say question mark uh, close that off and we're going to assign oh, the, we're going to assign the value of whatever you type in to s string for some reason i can't get s string s string there we go s string that's better right um and then hold on to your hats this is amos pro so obviously this is going to be quite easy to get amos to say what we want to say but we're, we're just going to use the say command really that's it that's it boys and girls video done go home no <laughs> uh literally say S string. That's all we're going to do. Right, so let me turn up my sound and let's run the program. And let's put a phrase in. Hello, player one. How are you? Ready? Let's go. Hello, player one. How are you? 1980s computer speech. <laughs> that is brilliant. So the program ends, uh, and obviously, if we wanted to run it again, uh, Welcome, player one. Uh, let's go. Welcome, player one. Let's go. It's it's good. I mean, you know, back in the day, this would have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. Basic speech uh, there. Right. So um, now, let's turn the sound back off. I've got the, the volume up, so obviously the audio picks up on my microphone. So you might be thinking, Yawning Angel, why aren't you taking a direct audio feed? Uh, because of reasons, that's why. Because of reasons. Mm. Right. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, uh, just a bit of screen eye candy, uh, just to let the user know what's going on. So we'll do that. We'll do a wait key. Okay. So next, what we're going to do 
and we're going to set some values to make that speech a little bit more rounded, a little bit more personable. And the values we're going to be looking at are uh, gender or sex as it is in the Amos manual. Uh, Amos Pro manual, uh, all of this information is uh, on page 110201 is the speech section there. Greater detail can be obtained for that, but I'm giving you a quick and dirty whistle stop tour. So we can adjust the gender, uh, the mode, pitch, and the rate. So uh, effectively, we do that by issuing the set talk command. The set talk command will take those values and apply them to our say command. So uh, once more, a bit of eye candy for the user. Uh, print talking with new values. Okay. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is issue set talk, and now we're going to set these parameters up. So uh, for the gender, it's zero for male. Uh, the mode, we've got zero and one, and that is normal and weird. So we're going to go with normal. Uh, weird is, is, is odd. Um, we're then going to do the pitch, which I'm going to set to 150. I'll explain the parameters of this in a while. And the rate is 200. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're just going to issue that say, um, say dollar command again. Okay, so let's give this a try now. So I'll just make this a bit shorter. Welcome player one. Okay, so this is normal. At least it would be normal, boys and girls, if I'd switch my speakers back on. Let's try that again. Let's try that. I haven't had enough tea. Uh, welcome. Player one. Welcome, player one. Right, so now when we press a key, we're going to hear that phrase with the new values, uh, the extra values that we've put in. Welcome, player one. Did you notice the difference there? Yeah, uh, so let's, let's actually run that again. Um, uh, welcome to Amos Coding. Welcome to Amos Coding. Amos. Yeah, you, I think you can use phonetics as well to get around some of the, the pronunciation issues. Welcome to Amos Coding. So there you go. There is a bit of a difference there. I mean, I can... Let me just turn the speakers off again. Um, we can change out um, the frequency. I mean, I can... Uh, sorry, the rate. I can change that to 100. And uh, welcome to Amos Coding. Let's turn the speakers back on. Welcome to Amos Coding. And now with that new value. Welcome to Amos Coding. See, it is by changing a few numbers, you can actually change what is the, the way something is said quite easily. You can get those voices to sound a little bit more robotic, a little bit more human, human. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Right, so now what we're gonna do is have a quick look at the talk miss command. So what I'm going to do then is uh, let's a bit more eye candy on the screen. Uh, locate zero comma seven prints. If you're probably thinking, yawning angel, this is a bit ropey. This code. It is. This is very ropey. This is very quick and dirty. Don't worry. I've got a utility program which will blow this one out of the water, and you'll love it. Uh, but that is coming up in a while in the video right so what we're going to do now on the talk mist what does talk mist give us it gives us access to the volume and the frequency so uh talk mist uh and i'm going to set the volume at 64 the volume is range from 0 to 64. 64 is maximum volume uh, it's all good. And the frequency is up to 20,000 from 0 to 20,000. So I'm going to set this at 15,000. Okay. And then I'm going to do, say, S dollar, S dollar, and I'm going to end the program. Um, so let's try this again. Uh, oh, I need to just quickly copy this line. Control B, take that line, uh, store that. And I need to put, oh, no, I need to put that there. And that needs to be, duh, 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 duh. talk amongst yourselves. Right, okay, let's run this and turn my speakers on. Uh, here is some talking. <laughs> here is some talking. 
So now we're going through where we've just adjusted uh, the, the gender, the mode, the pitch and the rate. Here is some talking. And now with the talk misc value set, so obviously the frequency we've adjusted. Here is some talking. Oh man, how good is that? <laughs> I think me back in the day doing this would have been blown away. That is super, I'm gonna have some more fun with that. Um, let me change that frequency out uh, here. And let me change that to 20,000. And let's run the program again. Here is some text to say. Oh, to say. missed that. Uh, we'll come back and do that again. Here is some text to say. And now, obviously I've adjusted that frequency again. Here is some text to say. You can kind of start to hear the difference and the fluctuation in how the speech is done. Uh, let's run that program again. Welcome to Amos Player One. Welcome to Amos Player One. That's the normal. Now with the adjustments to gender, mode, pitch and rate. Welcome to Amos Player One. And now when I've adjusted the frequency. Welcome to Amos Player One. So you can hear some differences there, at least I hope you can. So this is actually quite a lot of fun. And, you know, you can keep on changing these values and finding out, you know, what works well for you. Um, what would you want in your program? How would you want your voice to sound? But doing it this way is the long and laborious way. So I've written a utility program where you can just key in your values and just keep on trying things out. And I'm going to show you that program now. Ah, that is a good cup of tea. See on the back of Snorker's mug, there's a big red arrow. Big red arrow there, can you see it? So big shout out to the Big Red Arrow Club. Right, um, this, <coughs> excuse me, this is a utility program I have written um, that it's basically just a, a user interface for all those values uh, that we can change on the say command. It's a little bit Heath Robinson. It's a little bit thrown together. Remember, this is quick and dirty code, um, but it enables us to enter the values. It shows us what the ranges are. Word of advice here, there is no validation on this whatsoever. So enter data at your own risk. But I just wanted to write this just to prove how easy it is to change the values and give you something to test your speech values with. Uh, I'll dive into the codes properly in a minute. So let's run this and see what it does. So the first thing it's asking for is a phrase, what you want to say. Welcome player one. Um, let's do this. Okay. Right, so the first thing it's asking for, male or female? Zero for male, one for female. We'll do male first. Speech mode, normal or weird? Uh, zero for normal. Pitch, I'm going to do 150. So these are our ranges. So the pitch is from 65 to 320. We're going to go 150. Uh, rate is between 40 and 400. So I found 200 works quite well. Volume, always have the, well for me I'm having the volume at 64 because there's very little to be gained in having it much lower depending on what you want to do, but we'll look at that later. Frequency, I'm going in with 20,000 uh, and that is it. So let's press enter. Welcome player one, let's do this. You'll probably notice there's an array of buttons have appeared at the lower part of the screen here. So what I can do with this, I can speak again. Welcome player one, let's do this which is kind of cool because now I can keep testing different values. This button here, new values, I can click this and it will wipe all of these out and I can just start again from fresh. I can change the phrase uh, that I want it to say. I can quit out of the program, but then I can change individual values here. So with that phrase, let's go through and change each one in turn. Welcome player one, let's do this. So if I wanted to change whether it's male or female, let's change it to female. So now I change that to one. Welcome player one, let's do this. Slight difference, it is only a slight difference. Welcome player one, let's do this. Mm, interesting, <coughs> so let's go for uh, mode. Let's change that to weird. Welcome player one, let's do this. Not much difference. I, I think they kind of changed the, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a great audio person, but um, something's changed. And it sounds a little bit stranger. Welcome, player one. Let's do this. Uh, pitch. So let's change pitch to maybe 100. Welcome, player one. Let's do this. Very machine, very 1980s computer talk there. Uh, let's change out the rate to maybe, I don't know, 100 there. So this should slow the speech down. Welcome, player one. Let's do this. It, and that's definitely done that, hasn't it? Let's try that again. Welcome, player one. Let's do this. So that's that's interesting and not too annoying at all, really. So I'm going to change that back to 200. Well done, player one. Let's do this. Uh, volume. So let's change the volume. And if I change this to something like, I don't know, we're on 60. If I change it out to 20. Well done, player one. Let's do this. Quite clearly, it's reduced the volume. You can probably hardly hear that. Well done, player one. Let's do this. So we're going to change the volume back to 64. Well done, player one. Let's do this. The frequency, uh, so values between 5,000 and 25,000. So if I change that out maybe for 10,000. Oh, wow, the Vorgons have arrived. <laughs> let's have some Vorgon poetry, shall we? Uh, let's try that again. Really guttural. So let's change out the uh, genders. Let's change that to male. Oh my goodness, that is horrendous. Uh, let's change the mode back to normal. Imagine you're writing a game and you needed some speech for an alien character in the game uh, that your, your player's interacting with. This would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, so let's change out the pitch. Let's go for 300. <laughs> So as you start to change these values out, you're going to get some really weird effects. And you can just then decide, well, actually, these are the values I want to put into my program. And you'll take these values then and have them in your, um, in your set talk command to build up what you want to say. But I think this is a great little utility because it means you can just play around to your heart's content. And I've lost a lot of time playing around with this. Um, so let me just show you. So let me change the phrase out. This, oh, no. Uh, this is Amos. Uh, welcome to coding. That, I mean, that just sounds horrendous, doesn't it? So let's change that frequency back to maybe 20,000. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. And we're going to need to change that pitch back out. Changing that to 150. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Let's change the pitch out again. Uh, let's go with something like 80. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. And you can see well, here that the voice is starting to get a little bit more normal now. Uh, let's try the rate. I can slow this right down. If I do this at 40, this is going to be horrendous. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Mm. That was exciting. Let's not do that ever again. Uh, let's change that rate out. If I change that to 400. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Yeah, really fast. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Although that is quite cool. Once again, an alien voice in a game. Yeah, are people getting inspired? Are you inspired to use this in your programs? Who knows? Uh, so let's change out the rate one more time. Let's change it to 250. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Uh, so what I can do, if I just hit new values, that just wipes everything, cleans the slate. Obviously, we've still got the original phrase, but we can start again. Uh, we'll go normal. Uh, pitch, let's try, uh, let's try 250. Uh, the rate, we'll try that to, oops, 250. Volume is always 64 for this sort of testing. And we'll try uh, 22,000. This is Amos. Welcome to coding. Let's try a phrase. Um, I wonder if it'll do this. Welcome to the world of Amiga. I wonder if it'll do the ah. Let's try it. Welcome to the world of Amiga. No, it doesn't. So you need to think if you're doing longer words, sorry, you know, you're trying to get out of this kind of ah or an emphasis or something, you're gonna to need to think about maybe phonetics. I haven't played around with that yet. So a little task for yourselves, go out there and have a play. Um, so let's change what, that was quite high, wasn't it? Let's change the 
pitch back down to 100. Welcome to the world of the meter. Cool, and it's a little bit fast for my liking, so the frequency I'm going to change back out to maybe 10,000. Or maybe not. Um, <laughs> Welcome to the world of the meter. So we can have a lot of fun with that, or you can have a lot of fun with it. So this code will be available to download from my website and you'll be able to have a play around with this to your heart's content. So um, probably time for a T refresh and we're gonna take a look at the code. Quick whistle stop tour through the code, see how it all hangs together and that'll be it. So let's refresh the T. We're gonna take a look now at the code for that utility. Uh, T has been refreshed, it's a quick mouthful. Oh, it's good. And it's nice and hot as well, so that's gonna stay hot for a while. Um, so the observant, the super observant among you will notice that I haven't spoken about the talk stop command. Um, I bet you can't guess what that does. Uh, it effectively just stops any speech as it's being spoken. Um, pretty much the same as you would control music by stopping music playing. Talk stop would do that. So I haven't actually included that in any of my code because I haven't seen the need to. Uh, going through the Amos manual then, section 11, uh, where we talk about speech, there are some commands that I haven't covered, <coughs> excuse me, and that is um, about the narrator's mouth. So there are mouth width, mouth height, and mouth read commands. And this is for um, mouth functions are used to govern the shape and movement of an animated mouth on screen. Haven't touched that, that might be a project in the future, but I've just ignored that. So we just kept to the basics. Uh, for this video. Right, a uh, quick whistle stop tour through this then. So, uh, some blurb there. I mean, all the code in here is stuff that I've covered in previous videos. Uh, you know, screen opening, uh, we're setting zones for the buttons. I've got 10 buttons, we're reserving zones. We've got some global variables defined, and the order of this program is, uh, the first procedure is text speak. So if I bounce down to text speak, which is here, Text speak, we just have the input there uh, to capture the text that you want this program to say. We then go to our main routine. So we've got a do loop here, uh, which is our main procedure. And the first thing we do is go into a speech vals procedure, uh, which is down here. So uh, screen input here, we capture. So we've got all our values defined here, we capture them. And then what we do, we issue our set talk command and we set the values based on what has been captured from these inputs. We then do the same to our talk misc as well. We set those values. Then we bounce into a procedure called buttons. Uh, buttons as in on the screen, not buttons as the children's TV character. Those of you who are old enough will remember that. Okay, um, I'm on, you know, this is just showing the buttons on the screen really. There is no rocket science going on here at all. This is all stuff we've covered in previous programs, uh, previous videos, sorry. Uh, so after we've done that, you know, we, we're checking a mouse zone and we're literally just checking for where the mouse is clicked. And depending on what you've clicked, it will fire the say command or it will go back and reallocate the speech values. Um, it, will, it will set the values, we'll go to text speak and set some things. So each one of these buttons is doing different things depending on what you uh, click on. Really simple stuff. There is nothing complex in here that we haven't covered already. It's just a basic input program. Uh, you know, as we run it, it captures some text. Uh, tea is a great drink. Um, uh, we'll have that as a male voice. We'll have that as normal. Uh, we'll do that at 220. Uh, rates of maybe 300, might be a little bit too fast. Uh, volume of 64, 20,000 as the frequency. A great drink. And that's a very fast uh, execution there. So let's change that rate down to 150. A great drink. And that pitch is horrendous. Is a great drink. I'm going to change that pitch again to 150. Is a great drink. It is, a tea is a great drink. And really, <laughs> that's all there is to it. This is a very simple program. I hope you get some use out of it and I hope you enjoy it. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Huzzah! And that is it for another video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you've got something out of this. 
Don't forget, the source code for this program will be available to download from my website. A link to that is here. If you've enjoyed this and you've got something out of it and you want to support me on my Ko-fi account, the details for that are up here. And I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has supported me on Ko-fi and gives me some wonderful comments on these videos. Thank you once again. You're all brilliant. Well, that is it for this video. I'm going to wrap up now. Links to various online accounts of mine can be found in the description down below. But until next time, whatever you do, look after yourselves and keep it retro.